All over the world at WNST.net. We never stop talking Baltimore sports. We got fired on that Monday night. People started calling me and saying, Call Pillick, is he going out there? I, it, there's no way you could even take over a team in the middle of the year, right? I mean, that, that's just a crazy situation, right? Has that ever been done? From the outside? Probably yeah, not. No, I can't remember. And baseball happens every day. The NBA happens every day. The NHL yeah, happens every day. Yeah, different, different situation. I, I, I don't think it's ever been done. And no, you, you couldn't do that. You, First off, you wouldn't have an effect. I don't know what you would do. Coming in, you get to the existing system, the existing assistant coaches, and it just would not be a workable relationship. You talked about Ozzie Newsom. I want to give you a follow-up on that. Because I I talked to you at length a lot privately, because we, you know, we're close partners. And by the way, I really appreciate that you would pick me and not pick Al Davis. I feel like I'm in a special category for that. So um, but Ozzie Newsom. You know, he does go so many. Get more money too, apparently. Love my power too. Newsom, I heard you speak privately to me very, very passionately about your affection, affinity, partnership for Ozzy Newsom. I don't think a lot of the fans know that how you feel about Ozzy and what was special about Ozzy. And speak to that a little bit. Why, why was Ozzy special for you? Well, was, uh, I've always had joked and said Ozzy was the perfect, perfect partner because Ozzy had no ego and with my exaggerated ego, it just bounced out perfect. But just the way he respected the responsibilities that I had, uh, and the respect that we showed to one another, and the way we went about it. We made a decision earlier in the interview process. Ozzy asked, him, okay, if we couldn't agree, how would we compromise on something? And I said, Ozzy, I'm not going to compromise on anything. Which, you know, I mean, you can imagine his first instinct would have been, oh, okay, so, it's so you're going to run the team. Right. And it was, no, either you're going to convince me or I'm going to convince you. But the first time we ever go to then Art Modell and say, we don't agree, you got to decide, you got to fire both of us on the spot. Because Cause it's your job to figure it out, right? Correct. And we're going to, and that doesn't mean you come to a consensus because then there's no accountability and there's no real resolution. Either I'm going to convince you or you're going to convince me. And that's exactly what we did. There was never an instance where we didn't reach a point where, and it was usually from a perspective of, you know what, in this instance or that instance, we recognize one or the other maybe had a perspective, either more information or whether it was the responsibility of what we were doing, that you know what, that's probably the perspective that we need to trust. We'll do it your way or my way. Right, and, and, and that's probably at the end of the day, either you or I, whichever way it went. And I can't tell you how many times we'd come in and we disagree and we'd scrimmage it and say, okay, let's sleep on it. And come in in the morning, I'd go, hey man, I thought about it, I think you're right. I think we're gonna do so He'd go, no, no, I was thinking about it, and I think, I think you were right. And we'd end up arguing the opposite of what we are. <laughs> And that's just the kind of relationship it was. You can't ask for more than that. All over the world at WNST.net, we never stop talking Baltimore sports.